Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use Chart Boost using our Sonar Cocos Helper. This video assumes you've integrated the Sonar Cocos Helper. If you haven't, don't worry, we've got a video covering that. This is for the iOS side of Chart Boost integration, but if you want to do Android as well or just Android, then we have an Android video as well. What you want to do is go to chartboost.com, create a free account, sign in, and what you want to do is click Add App let your platform so for us it's iOS put a nickname so it doesn't really matter what you put it it's just what you see on the dashboard so I'm gonna put test nickname add again doesn't matter then just put your bundle ID or your package name whatever you know it as so sonar.system dot nickname dot package select the app orientation so my app is portrait and for test mode this is just like many other and networks if you're testing it do enabled because you may get banned if there are some let's say clicks or impressions or quite a lot of it on one device and nothing else choppers will ban your account so just put test mode to enabled but once you publish your game and it's live then just make sure you put it as disabled then what you want to do is click save and then that will just basically sort everything out and what you need from here is the app ID and the app signature once you've uploaded your application to the app store you can put your iTunes URL and you'll get your icon for it and any of the meta information I've already created another application and the reason I'm not going to use the one that I just created is simply because Charboost sometimes can take a little while to work once you've created a fresh application there are, I found that so I created this and if it doesn't work for you when you create a new one just wait half an hour and come back so again just show just showed you how to create a new app on Charboost and the process is the same start coding if it doesn't work then just come back in about half an hour so what we're going to do is open up our project in Xcode and what we're going to do is also add an external framework we want the Chartboost framework I've already uncompressed it and from there you want the Chartboost.framework file put that in your iOS folder open up Xcode drag and drop Chartboost from your iOS folder into the iOS section into the Explorer on Xcode bit of a mouthful make sure you have copy items if needed not selected create groups and for targets select iOS only click finish then what you want to do is go to your project here one's called tutorial one go to build phases link binary with libraries and automatically it adds the chartboost.framework if it's not added then just click, click plus and add it you also need a few other frameworks we need storekit.framework we need foundation.framework but that's added by default we need core graphics.framework added by default and we need UI kit that's red so just click minus on the red one and then just add it again and it'll be all good there we go we have all the frameworks that we need added now what you want to go is to your sch settings h and in here you want to enable sharpus so i'm going to put this as true next to it is a comment stating all the frameworks that you need which are the ones we've just added scroll down and here you have the sharpus app id and app signature so this is basically what is on your chart boost dashboard make sure there's no white space at the start or the end and again make sure there's no white space at the start or the end well that is now set up so we can go into our scene I'm just gonna close that so we got a bit more room to work with and when we click the button we're gonna show a I need to do chart boot first colon colon show full screen add so let's just run it in the simulator and after we've 
shown you the full screen ad we're going to show you a video ad as well so if i just click this button right here we have a full screen ad and as you can see say success you've got a test interstitial for real interstitials create a new publishing campaign in the chart boost dashboard and don't forget to disable test mode before submitting to the store and if i were to click it this will just take me to a link and on here at the moment it's just test mode otherwise it will take you to the app store and you would be able to download that application so next what we're going to do is show you a video ad so show video ad run this now at the moment the sonar cocos helper doesn't have a way of detecting once the video ad is played and completed because obviously there's different states the user might click the button but for whatever reason chart boost can't provide a video or what might happen is the user quits the video somehow or the user watches the video successfully and you want to be able to handle those states differently that functionality isn't implemented yet but will be in the future let's just show you a video ad working so this pops up watch a video and earn one coin this coins here and the one can be modified on the chart boost dashboard and if i just click watch get this video ad so i'm just gonna let this finish so you can see what happens once it's finished Okay, as you can see, it says we have earned one coin, and that just popped up. And we also get a interstitial at the end. Basically, it's advertising a game, let's say Candy Crush. And once that's done, you'll get this interstitial, which the user can click if they want to play. I mean, want to watch. I mean, watch. I mean, sorry, yeah. Tom Krista, if they want to play the game, they can go to the App Store and download it. So I can click retry to play it again and. I'm not going to do that or I can just click X so obviously if I were to click it again it appears again but I'm gonna click X so that's it that's how you use and integrate chart boost into your application using our sonar cocos helper if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php don't worry you don't need to remember that there'll be a link in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day